حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير اعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللئيم الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا ابي القاسم محمد وعلى اله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين سيما بقيه الله الاعظم روحي وارواح العالمين له الفداء رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي Today's topic the birthday of Hazrat Fatima az-Zahra salam Allah alayha Bibi Fatima was the daughter of the prophet the wife of an imam and the mother of 11 imams after her She was born on the 20th of Jamadi Athani 5 years before the migration of the prophet and just like her life was not usual or normal and neither was her death usual or normal just like that her birth was also not usual or normal let's go through that history of her coming into this world and how she came and how that light from Allah came down in this world her mother the proud and great lady bibi khatija who was the queen literally the queen of the arabs the richest lady the most known lady in the arab world who had married the prophet when she was in labor and in the pangs of pain she sent out a word to bani hashim the tribe and to the ladies in the neighborhood to come to her assistance so that they can give birth and help her give birth to her child and when she sent that word out with the hope that they will come and they will help her because she was their lady that they looked up to but because of that situation and because of the hatred that the meccans had for the prophet and because of the situation of them opposing the prophet no one wanted to help her no one wanted to come they sent a word to her a message to her saying that you were told not to marry this orphan he is poor he has no protection he has no father and you married her you didn't listen so now we are not ready to help you we are not going to help you give birth to your child now imagine pregnant woman in that situation she has no medical care she has no one to come and help her and she obviously disturbed and saddened by the fact that no one is willing to help her the history has shown how much she has helped everyone in mecca all the ladies in mecca they owed her but still the animosity to the prophet was such and the situation of islam at that point was such that no one wanted to help her so she didn't know what to do she cried she asked allah for help and said allah help me to deliver this baby to bring her into the world there is no one here and at that moment it is said that four ladies appeared they were tall and they looked like from bani hashim she thought that they were ladies of bani hashim she didn't know them they were strangers 
At first, she was apprehensive, a little scared, frightened to see who these ladies are who entered her room in her privacy while she's going through those pains. And so they looked at her and they told her that do not be afraid. We have been sent by Allah. You have asked him for help and Allah has sent you help. And then they started to introduce themselves. The main one said that I am Sarah, the wife of Ibrahim. And this is Maryam, the mother of Isa. And this is Asiya, the daughter of Mulahim, who is the wife of Fir'aun. And this is Kufum, the sister of Musa. We have come here to help you. If the ladies of Makkah and your tribe do not want to help you, we are here to help you give birth to this child. And we will take care of you. We have come here as your nurse, as your servant. When you look at these ladies who came and who these ladies are, as Allah mentions them in the Quran, these are ladies that Allah holds in the highest rank of faith. He calls, for example, he calls Maryam Sayyidate Nisa al Alameen, who was the chief of the women of her time. So they came to the mother of Fatima as a wet nurse to be a servant to help her give birth to Fatima. And when they came there, it is said, and let me read this, they went around, made themselves uh, go around her. One of them on the right hand side, one of them on the left hand side, one of them in the front, one of them in the back in order that they can support the delivery and the birth that was going to take place. So the formation of all of them around, it was at this point, it is said, فَوَضَعَتْ فَاتِمَةَ فَاتِمَةُ طَاهِرَةٌ مُتَحِرَةٌ It is at that time Khatija gave birth to Fatima, pure and cleansed and purified that when Fatima came it said there was no blood there was no impurity there was no other najasat or anything she came out pure and purified and that's how she came into this world and when she came to the earth there was a light that emanated from her falamma sakatat ilal ard ashraqa minha nurun hatta dakhala buyutat makkah that a light emanated from her that went to the homes and the houses in makkah it just illuminated the city then it was at that point that one of the ladies took her and and washed her washed bibi fatima with maul kawthar the water of kawthar which is actually the hidden and infinite reality of fatima and she was washed with that and then wa akhrajat kharakatain baydawatain then they took out two cloths white that came from heaven. One of them they wrapped around her. The other one was a head covering, a makna for her. And they put that on her head. And once they had that ready and they saw that, the lady in the front requested Bibi Fatima to speak. And as she requested her to speak, 
So at that point, the child started saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, testifying to Tawheed and Nabuwat. As she testified to that, after that, Bibi Fatima then, in the arms of the ladies, called out to each of the ladies and greeted them by name and said, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Sara, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Asiya, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Maryam, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Kulthum. And each one of them, she greeted them and they all greeted her back. And when they heard Fatima say their name, they were overjoyed. They were filled with joy. This moment, picture it for a minute, that these ladies that Allah praises so much in the Quran, they are so thrilled that Bibi Fatima has called them by their names. She remembered them by their names. And when they heard their name being called by Fatima, they were like thrilled that she knows us. She called my name. She said my name. It's like this holiness, this, this ecstasy of spiritual light coming into them just because Fatima took their name. And they could not hold back their joy that Bibi Fatima spoke to them, that she took their name. They know what that means. They know that this is this being is someone special close to Allah that they look up to that they see as someone that is special and that's why it says waqbalna yadhakna ilayha they became overjoyed and started smiling and in that ecstasy the ladies then said, Khudiha ya Khadija, take her, O Khadija, take her, Tahiratun, Mutahiratun, Zakiyatun, Maimunatun, that take her, she being pure and purified, immaculate and blessed. This is Fatima. They gave her in the hands of the mother. Khadija took Fatima in her hands and then right away she put her to the chest. As they gave her, they said, Blessed is she and blessed is her progeny that will come. There will be barakat and blessing in her and in her progeny, real blessing, divine blessing, a blessing that cannot be stopped, a blessing that cannot be counted, a blessing that is infinite will be through her and through her progeny. And they gave it, they gave her over to Khadija. Khadija put Fatima at her chest and Fatima right away as she, her mouth came on the chest of her mother, then milk started to flow to Fatima. Khatija did not wean and nurse her other children. For whatever reason, maybe she couldn't. Maybe she wasn't able to. Maybe there was no milk that came out. But she did not wean her other children Prophet had other children, Qasim, because of whom the Prophet is known as Abu Qasim. He had a son named Tayyib. And there's Abdullah. So as these three were there, Bibi Fatima uh, was the only one that her mother weaned and nursed. And she nursed her, made her uh, into her hand, gave her that nursing until the end.
as Fatima lay in her hand, Khadija overjoyed, in ecstasy, looks at her as the blessing that she is. Allah has found her to be worthy of bearing Fatima. She cannot realize the blessing that Allah has given her over everyone that she has become the mother of Fatima. That she, Allah has chosen her to be that. And Fatima, when she came there, she, God sent, divine, given to Khatija. And when she came to Khatija, the blessings came with her. She used to speak to Khatija when she was in the womb. She used to talk to her, comfort her, calm her, show her kindness, give her solace, give her strength. She did that to her mother. Usually it's the mothers who comfort their children. But Fatima might be the only child who comforted her own mother and, and strengthened her and gave her peace. This was Fatima as she came into this world. So today, as we celebrate her birth, uh, truly, uh, it's a great experience for us and a great blessing for us. Today being the birth of Bibi Fatima, it is a blessing for all of us. Those who follow her, those who hold on to her, those who have love for her and her children, those who cling to her, those who have hope in her, their hopes are not going to be dashed. That is Fatima. It is said. Fatima, the name Fatima, why is she called Fatima? It is said that Fatima, she is called because in one hadith, it is said she's called because she and her followers are protected from the hellfire. She's the one who protects the followers. Uh, she herself is protected and her followers are protected from the hellfire. Rasulullah, this hadith from Imam Sadiq who said that Rasulullah had told Ali, قَالَ النَّبِي Ali, هَلْ تَدْرِي لِمَا سُمِّيَتْ Fatima. Do you know why Ali, do you know why Fatima is called Fatima? They said, uh, so Ali says, لِمَا سُمِّيَتْ Fatima. Why is she called Fatima, Ya Rasulullah? He says, Qala li'annaha futimat hiya wa shiyatuha minan nar. Because she and her Shias are protected from the hellfire. Fatima means protection. She affords protection. For not just a Shia, for those who love her, those who show love to her and her children, she affords that. Ibn Abbas also mentions this, and he mentioned this in front of Muawiyah. He asked Muawiyah, do you know why Fatima is called Fatima? And Muawiyah said, no, I don't know. He says, لِأَنَّهَا فُتِمَتْ هِيَا وَشِيَتُهَا مِنَ النَّارِ Fatima is called Fatima because she and her Shia are protected from the hellfire. I heard this from Rasulullah myself. And hence, we in her birth and on the occasion of her birth need to make our allegiance and our, our, our resolution to cling to her, to her children, and to be with her and put our hopes in her. Through her, Allah's shafa'at, Allah's mercy is going to be showered on those who believe. Thank you for watching. Bismillah.